Hi, I'm Martin Bolter. Welcome back and you are watching AutoCAD 2020 Tutorials. So in this uh, tutorial we're going to look at the line segments as well as polylines and our shape functions to generate some regular shapes in AutoCAD 2020. We'll then go on to look at our trim, chamfer and radius functions to use those to trim out various different elements of the shapes that we've generated. This will then give us some more complex shapes that we can work with and then eventually use these to draw into uh, three dimensions. So we'll start off with a line segment and uh, we're going to generate a rectangle 500 by 1000 millimeters um, just using four individual line segments. I'm going to use the little AI function to, so I don't have to put the dimensions in for the last two. Uh, when you've done press escape and then we're going to create a circle of a radius 100mm uh, in the bottom left hand corner. Once we've done that we can start looking at trimming out the uh, parts of the circle that we want to get rid of and to do this we're going to have to choose our uh, surfaces that we want to trim to. So we're going to use the horizontal and the vertical lines that we drew a minute ago. Select them both with a left click and then right click off the screen and then left click the segment you want to get rid of. For the, the next section we're just going to get rid of the two little sections so this time it's the quarter circle that becomes our cutting surface. And Now what we're going to do is we're going to offset our uh, horizontal and vertical lines by 100mm as well and we'll offset them inboard which will give us an intersection in the top right hand corner and we'll uh, then create a circle using the object snaps this time making sure that we get it right out to the edge um, and then we're going to trim out the various sections so we're going to use the circle as the the, the trim its cutting surface and then the, we'll trim out the two left the little uh, left hand corner bits uh, we'll then reverse the operation, so we'll use the horizontal and vertical line um, and then we'll trim out the uh, rest of the circle and using the green box we'll get rid of those uh, two lines, those offset lines that we used. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a radius in the top left. Um, don't forget to use the command bar down the bottom to uh, put your radius in. and uh, I'm going to drop down and I'm going to change the radius to a chamfer and I'm going to use a distant chamfer to chamfer the bottom right hand corner uh, 100mm in one direction and 100mm in another. Uh, it doesn't matter which way around because they're even but so I selected the bottom first with the vertical one second. Now I'm using the rectangle tool and I'm going to create a rectangle in the middle and I'm going to radius both the left hand corners uh, so drop down the chamfer, change it to a, a fillet radius uh, using the command bar down the bottom I'm going to put 100mm in as my radius and I'm now going to select the, uh, the top left hand corner and I'll then repeat the fillet and I'll do the bottom left hand corner I'm now going to put an, an uneven chamfer on the right hand side and down the bottom I'm going to select the angle option. I'm going to put uh, an uneven angle, you can use whichever one you want as long as the uh, angle finishes within the actual rectangle. You will get an error if it tries to draw it outside of the rectangle. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more content to do with AutoCAD 2020 and Inventor 2020. If you've liked what you've uh, watched and it's worked for you, hit that like button and also add any comments for any future uh, content you want to see. 
and I'll uh, try and put something together for you. Thank you very much for watching.